Now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, the weather outside today was a little frightful, but those temperatures maybe a little delightful because it actually helped us melt that snow and prevented you from shoveling even more snowfall. So even though we had measurements of several inches, even near a half foot, well, this afternoon with all the melting and compression, it didn't really look like that, especially for those areas off towards the west. Here in uh, Green Bay, it was just mostly a, a slushy accumulation of like one to two inches of snow. Uh, 35 degrees in Green Bay for an afternoon high temperature, 35 in Shawano, 37 in Manitowoc and Sheboygan, 31 below freezing up towards Anago. The high temperature today of 35. Hey, look at that. Above average, our average high is 34. So yeah, just one degree. Big deal, right? Uh, record high was back in 1982. 60 degrees was the high temperature then. So radar is showing the remnants of this uh, last band of some steadier snowfall moving down to the south. A little rain snow mix along Lake Michigan up towards the north. Temperatures have been cooling down into the upper 20s. So some cool air is working its way in here, but Right now, it does look like over the next few hours, we will remain just a few degrees above freezing. So as the snow continues to fall, it will continue to melt. But still, with a little bit of some briefer, uh, brief, uh, heavier bands of snow, we do have the potential for some slick spots on the roads. Winter weather advisor remains in effect until 9 o'clock this evening, but could cancel a little bit earlier depending on how the radar ends up shaping up over the next few hours. The heaviest snowfall accumulation ended up occurring off towards the west of Green Bay over parts of Ottagay and also Wapaka County, where we had between four to five and a half inches, Iola, five and a half inches, Shyocton, four inches, up towards Krivitz, only an inch, and then over uh, the eastern part of Green Bay near uh, Ledgeview, only 1.9 inches of snow. So there was a bit of a spread, and it really off towards the west, like towards Wapaka, western Ottagamie County, they had temperatures right around freezing yesterday, so that allowed that snowfall to stack up a little higher than farther east, south, and even north. The low pressure is moving off to the East. We got a little bit of cool air moving in behind it, high pressure moving in from Canada. But that high pressure will move all this wintry mess out of the area. Temperatures down into between about 27 to 30 degrees overnight tonight, so not much of a change. Mostly cloudy skies. The snow should be ending by about midnight at the latest if there's any remnant flurries around. Then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures right around freezing between 30 to 32 degrees, and then the sky should start to clear just a little bit as we get towards the day on uh, Tuesday. How much snowfall on top of what we have, uh, have already seen? Not a whole lot, just about another dusting or so up to the north. You're done with the snowfall. 28 degrees in Anago right now, 34 in Green Bay, 33 in Manitowoc. So not much of a change in temperatures from our highs. Wind still gusting out of the north and will remain to do so for the next 12 to 18 hours. So between about 20 to 30 miles per hour out of the north, eventually starting to weaken as we get towards later tomorrow evening. But with visibility starting to improve, that is showing a sign that we are seeing a little bit of improvement with that snow moving out of the area. 29 degrees for an overnight low temperature and then for tomorrow 31 but then cool air starts to work its way in here especially after uh, the quick clipper comes in on Thursday. Take a look 17 on Friday 20 on Saturday. So you know it's not only uh, the forecast that's looking rough right now even the Packers. I mean it's just going on and on. The temperatures will not be delightful for lawn. No, not at all. <laughs> Going to be a cold one out at Lambeau, and of course the Packers aren't playing well, so that doesn't At least help. you got the Bucks. Go Bucks, fear the deer. Yeah. Still